Whoop, whoop. Hey y'all, so I'm driving to my friend's house to get me some gumbo. So I decided to talk to y'all for a little bit because I guess people can't drive and sleep. So everybody's going like super fucking slow. So I'm just here. So while I'm talking, let's talk about something of significance. So I want to talk to y'all about the fact that weed is the new crack. Dro is the new crack. I'm going to say it again. Dro is the new crack. For, so everybody that's out there talking about, oh, I don't smoke no Reggie, you better start smoking some Reggie because I tell you what, Reginald is clean and pure cannabis in the cannabis family. Now this genetically modified marijuana that y'all smoking called Dro is really going to kill y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Now, organic Dro from back when I was younger that was $25, $30 a gram, that is a thing of the past. You will not find that anywhere. This new Dro are hybrid plants. They are not organic, they are scientifically made. You are smoking a test tube leaf. It is just because it looks like a leaf, don't mean it's a leaf. In this day and age, if it bark like a duck, wait, do ducks bark? If it quack like a duck and it look like a duck, in this day and age, it may not be no duck in the year of the Petri dish. Allow me to elaborate. For one, marijuana, that Reggie, when I say marijuana, I'm talking about regular old marijuana that come out the ground, you pull it up, you dry it, you crush it up, and you smoke it. That's what I'm talking about when I say marijuana. When I talk about the genetically modified version of marijuana, the new crack, I'm going to call it dro and or crack because that's what it is. Now, so let's talk about the components of the weed. Now, I'm going to do an in-depth a video on this on my YouTube channel Black Spin. I'm just killing time talking to you guys because I'm going to get this gumbo from Kim House. Hey girl, thank you for feeding me. So, anyway, um, regular marijuana. Marijuana has a high count of CBD and a very, very low count of THC, which give it, which gives you the euphoric feeling. Again, the euphoric feeling comes from THC. Okay, that's why. Uh, marijuana was basically used as a medicinal drug in the ancient times. It was one of the first um, anesthesias in surgery. It's a, it's a, they use it in, psych, in psychology. Uh, you know, this is a lot of uh, uses for it. Now, anyway, the CBD oil is what is oil. The CBD component of the plant, it is what makes it medicinal and helps it heal. It, you could use it for anything from epilepsy, epilepsy, all the way down to a nervous condition stroke patients use it cancer patients use it now the euphoric feeling is just for comfort which comes from the tac now this new crack that y'all call in dro which is lying saying it's a variation of weed when the only thing it has in common with weed is the fact that it looks like it okay it is very very low in cbd but it's extremely high in thc now let's talk about some of the side effects of thc let's talk about infertility so if you guys are married for years and y'all don't have any kids or maybe i have one or two it's because the thc is lowering is retarding your sperm yes you have retarded sperm because of the thc and you bitches have retarded eggs okay so y'all just have these, these slow retarded babies now they used to say that marijuana did not affect the motor skills but it does now because everyone is smoking this new stuff called um called dro and remember dro back in the day used to be the plants in the artificial light that's grown in the water in the fish tank see a lot of y'all forgot what real dro is and y'all smoking this shit that they are growing in this gmo soil this GMO plant, and then they have some shit called cloning, where they take the plant, splice it, cut open the, the vines, or the bottom of it, the root, and then put it in some water, and then when it starts growing, then they take that and put it in some soil too. None of that shit is natural. Y'all gotta stop making fun of people that smoke Reggie, and start smoking Reggie your damn self. Hey girl, because this drug is gonna kill you. It's gonna make you infertile. It causes brain atrophy, which means the largest muscle in the body, which is the brain, shrinks because of too much exposure to THC. So that's why if you look at your brothers and sisters as I hear all they smoke is weed, but they seem dumb as shit. They can't talk properly. They can't formulate a sense to save their life, and they hooked on that shit. Go smoke some dro, and then quit smoking dro, and you will see that your body is going to be craving it. Since when did your body crave some weed? That was the most least addictive thing. If you did become addicted to it, it was a psychological addiction. But now that they have an overabundance of TAC in it, and very, very low percentage of CBD, you are getting addicted to it physically. Like your body, you're molecularly addicted to the dro. That's why I say it's the new crack. So... 
And look at the emaciation. Oh, the emaciation. <laughs> People look emaciated. They're not eating. All they care about is the high. What that sound like to you? Crack? What are a lot of these people that smoke joy every day looking like crackheads? Oh, you can tell a motherfucker that only smoke joy and smoke joy all day, every day. They look like the crackheads of the 80s. Joe is the new crack. And think about it. If you don't want to think about it from the scientific perspective, look at it from a financial political perspective. Think, let's think about this for a minute. Since when has government allowed Negroes to legally sell drugs? Let's just think about that. When? The last thing I can think about is the crack epidemic that destroyed all our communities. Can you think of any other one? That's what I can think of. So now you have all these black people running to invest, running to open up these grow houses, running to flood their, their neighborhoods and their communities with this new crack. And while everybody's getting high on this crack, guess what they're going to be doing? Getting rich. Bottom line, point blank. Do you honestly think that they are going to not only legalize the sale of this drug, but also allow black people to get rich off of this drug. Because now, if we go back into the late 80s, early 90s, you it wasn't no black people growing weed. None. You couldn't find them because they had a chokehold on that shit. They had monopoly on that shit. So you mean to tell me they opened up that monopoly and now they're going to let people that look like me and you sell this shit and it's not going to cause a detriment into our society? Y'all better act like y'all know politics. You better act like you know the oppression. You better act like you know how this shit works. Okay, because they are not going to let black people get rich off of weed legally, legally get rich off of weed, growing it and distributing it on a large scale without there being a side effects in the black community. Because whenever there's something that's going to kill us or hurt us, they always get a black hand to do it. Just like they got Obama black ass manipulate us and use us and he didn't do nothing for us. Not a damn thing. And if you don't believe me, I did. I just posted a video on my YouTube channel, Black Span, B L A Q U E Span. And if you take a look at that video, I went over all most of the executive orders that Obama put out. And it's called uh, Obama is not the president that we give him credit for. Go on my YouTube channel, take a look at. There's also another channel on there, the LGBT political party. Take a look at that one too. They kind of all tie in together. But anyway. Going back to the new crack. They don't allow black people to get rich off of drugs. Are you serious? Unless it's going to be a detriment to our society. And look at our society now. Think about everybody out there knows somebody that smoke drugs. Everybody out there knows somebody that gets high on a regular basis. They have a different effect than when you were younger when you smoked weed. Am I lying? Am I making this shit up? We all see it. It's, it's more addictive. It has a more of a psychosis side effect. These motherfuckers are crazy. They have an anger outburst and, emo and acting very erratic, very bipolar-esque because they're, um, they're constantly getting high off this shit. And then when they stop smoking it, they have withdrawals. You have withdrawals because there's too much THC in the marijuana. And it is no longer... Uh, I don't know what that means. Let's say no. And, and it is no longer... Um, Add viewers to be in your broadcast. I don't know how to do that. What I don't know what the, what are you asking me to do, Calvin? Okay, so um, so anyway, so they're not just letting oh black people go ahead and get rich, sell this drove, and and live merry. Now I'm gonna tell you how another way you know. Y'all remember back about four years ago when they had that new synthetic weed that came out? That was the testing ground. It was a if if, if you ever uh, study science. You know that they um, they have variables and they have a controlled environment in which they want to test something. So the controlled environment was the ghetto, and the variable was how it. The variable was the people, the reaction, the side effects, and the uh, the synthetic marijuana. The synthetic marijuana was the testing ground for the new drug. Okay, that's what it was. So when everybody started dying from it or overdosing for it, they knew how to calibrate it to fix it before they named it drove and told you that shit was hydroponic weed they are lying they are so lying because a real hydro does not grow it grows in fucking water it doesn't grow in no soil okay and talk to an old old uh marijuana person who used to grow dro they will tell you it was called hydro because it was grown in in water hydro wet water it was grown in water and artificial light and a slight amount of sun it was not grown in soil. 
bottom line point blank so this new shit y'all smoking is genetically modified marijuana it's very highly addictive it has more side effects and it is and it's, it's not weed i'm going to do um, a chemical breakdown and everything of it on my youtube channel i was just coming to talk to y'all real quick just because i was bored i'm in traffic and i'm trying to go get this gumbo from kim house y'all because i'm hungry okay i'm not hungry but who gonna make about a gumbo and you know how black people are you can't put a pot of gumbo on facebook and we're not gonna be over your house girl so again stop smoking draw if you have to get high smoke regular marijuana and another thing i want to tell y'all when y'all taking these hair follicle tests and stuff like that for these jobs that draw is not coming out of your hair it is not coming out of your hair it stays in your blood system longer it stays in your urine longer and it has a side it has a um it causes more tar buildup in your um in your lungs whereas you used to get a little tar buildup smoking regular marijuana from smoking in cigar papers but you can alleviate that by smoking out the bong and stuff like that but this new this new this dro that they lying telling y'all is weed it's causing tar buildup and having a lot of same side effects as cigarettes would have now you y'all follow me here remember cigarettes cigarettes were out for 50 60 years before the attorney general told you the truth about the side effects and what it caused in the body and they made it uh are you gonna let me have them? And they made the you, they made the uh, tobacco companies put the Surgeon General warning on there. So they got 60 years to fuck up the whole black community with this dro shit. Fuck it, I stay in this lane. Oh, I hate unfriendly drivers. Um, anyway, 60 about 60 years wreaking havoc in the black community with this dro shit before they come out and tell us all the side effects of it. But we can see the side effects. Let's use our common sense. When have you seen people strung out, addicted, and fucked up off of marijuana like that? You, We have never, ever. I know people that used to get high and do their homework. Now these motherfuckers getting high, they can't even read. They can't read. Fuck not wanting to read. They cannot read. Meaning they cannot see the words. It's almost as if they dyslexic. Okay, this is causing brain atrophy and infertility in the black community. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. So, if you want to smoke it, smoke it at your own detriment. Not risk, but detriment. Because we know that's what it's causing. So, I'll break down CBD oil and TAC and all of that stuff on my YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tune in. Subscribe. It's Black Spin. B-L-A-Q-U-E with the asterisk mark. Span, S P A N, because if you can watch C Span, honey, you can watch Black Span. Okay, it's political science and sociology for the black community. Bye, y'all.